Hey there, it is Beth Z, your nerdy best friend, and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to clone a voice. So this tool is called Eleven Labs. It is $5 a month, and I'm going to come over here to Voices and clone a voice. So I've done several of these lately. I'm doing all these experiments, and I'm going to add a generative or cloned voice. So I'm going to use instant voice cloning. Now I'm going to use my friend Alan Berg, and he is a professional speaker who talks about the wedding industry and how to improve their businesses there. So I'm going to first let you listen to what his voice sounds like. What are you doing to fill holes in your calendar that are coming up closer? Hi, it's Alan Berg. Thanks for coming to another episode of the Wedding Business Solutions Podcast. Okay, so now you've got his voice in your head. And I've got his voice in your head more than y'all will ever know because I've been listening to all these voices nonstop. And I am going to take Alan's audio and drop it into the box to upload it. Immediately, you can see uh, right there, it goes down. I'll put myself right here. Um, right there. Immediately, you can see it uploads right there to where it says Allenberg Audio for Beth C. And it's in there. It's about five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. I, he sent me a podcast and he's got these short little podcasts, which you should listen to. Now, I can come down here and write a description such as Allen or Berg, professional speaker, male. Uh, and you can put in other descriptors like his age range and his accent and things like that. But it'll help you kind of understand what it is. You can do other labels. And then take a look at this. It says, I hereby confirm that I have all the necessary rights or consents to upload and clone these voice samples. Hmm. You notice there's no real certification there. It's just me being honest. I do have the rights. I did talk to Alan. He does want me to do this. But if you did not get permission you could lie right there and then you could use it but don't all right and then i'm going to click add a voice now in just a matter of seconds this screen is going to move and i will have a voice now i have alan's voice so now i'm going to come over here to the speech area and this is a little intro that i've been using for a sample i just asked ai to generate an intro for Beth Z, your nerdy best friend. And so since I'm well-known, a public author, I don't know if that's really true, but it knew who I was and it knew that I was a tech speaker. And so it did this. So if you can see down here, I can choose Alan's name and I will click generate speech. Now behind my head here, you can see that I've chosen 11 multilingual. There is 11 English and there's 11 turbo and some other things this one has more variables and so i'm going to be playing around with these a little bit if i do the stability to more variable and do the similarity to high and do a little bit more uh, style exaggeration it's going to give me a little bit more um i'm going to first start with default and i'll show you that so i'm going to click generate speech takes just a second. Or two. Meet Beth Z, your not so secret weapon in the battle against boring technology with more gadgetry know-how than a tech savvy octopus and a wit sharper than a USB drive. Beth is your nerdy best friend, ready to upgrade your life one laughably geeky moment at a time. All right, listen to that. And now let's go back to the original. Hi, it's Alan Berg. Thanks for coming to another episode of the Wedding Business Solutions Podcast. Pretty darn close. Again, this is $5 software and it took us less than a minute, I think, to get to this point. Now I'm going to make it a little bit more variable. And uh, it says may lead to instability. You see that little warning popping up under 30% may lead to instability. I don't really know what that means. Um, 
and then the style exaggeration, if I go over 50%, it says it leads to instability. But this does add a little bit of personality to here. So I'm just going to do those up a little bit. I don't know. I played around with these a lot, but I don't have many minutes left for my $5 a month thing because I can only generate 30 minutes worth of cloned audio for $5 a month. And I may have to upgrade if I keep doing this. But let me click Generate Speech. Meet Beth Z, your not-so-secret weapon in the battle against boring technology. With more gadgetry know-how than a tech-savvy octopus and a wit sharper than a USB drive, Beth is your nerdy best friend ready to upgrade your life one laughably geeky moment at a time. So buckle up, because with Beth by your side, even... I don't know. I thought it was a little bit better before, so maybe I'll undo the style exaggeration and I'll keep the more variable a little higher. Let's try it again. And meet Beth Z, your not-so-secret weapon in the battle against boring technology. With more gadgetry know-how than a tech-savvy octopus and a wit sharper than a USB drive, Beth is your nerdy best friend ready to upgrade your life, one laughably geeky moment at a time. So buckle up, because with Beth by your side, even troubleshooting your toaster will feel like a high-tech adventure. And this is where things get over the top, and in the blog post I'm doing, you'll see the differences here. I'm going to go speech to speech, and that means I can upload something that has a voice pattern and the words that I want, and it will replicate that much closer. So instead of uploading something, I'm going to click record audio and record something here that it's going to use. Hey, this is Alan Berg. Or it's actually not Alan Berg. It is Alan Berg's cloned voice in an experiment for Beth Z, your nerdy best friend. I hope that everybody can get a good idea of how we can use technology to clone a voice and that we're all freaked out. Thanks for listening. Okay, so I did a little 21 second thing there and then I'm going to generate the speech. Hey, this is Alan Berg, or it's actually not Alan Berg. It is Alan Berg's cloned voice in an experiment for Beth Z, your nerdy best friend. I hope that everybody can get a good idea of how we can use technology to clone a voice and that we're all freaked out. Thanks for listening. There you go. It is Alan Berg a la Beth Z, and that's what I'm worried about. So please... If you're running across this video somewhere else, please go to the post and read all about all the experiments and all the little pieces and parts that should make you a little uncomfortable. This is Beth Z, your nerdy best friend, and it really is Beth Z. I am not cloned. Your nerdy best friend saying, nerd on.